Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Yishion, the deck builder auto battler that I have been absolutely hooked on. It's consumed me a bit here. We're going to be checking out a new faction and a new character here. I believe it's the Heptastar Pavilion faction and Yan Chen. So it is going to be a completely different set of cards than what you saw yesterday. Completely different, especially if we go for a different um, uh, subclass. We'll, we'll see what we can do. I'll be back when we got a match. All right, so before we get into it, I want to say the main kind of general ideas for this faction are two things called, oh boy, um, there's star point, which is a major thing, and then uh, hexagram. So star point is basically this spot right there. If we have a card in that spot, it does an additional effect. Um, what else do we need here? Oops. What else do we need? Hold on, I gotta make I gotta make an actual build here first. What the hell is happening? I guess I'll just slot that in and we'll go from there. Oh god. All right. Okay. So basically, uh, if a card is in that slot, it does an additional effect. Uh, hexagram is a buff that you can apply to yourself to make it so if you have an RNG card coming up, it always will roll the best possible outcome. Uh, which is really, really nice. So there's like an RNG component to this class, but to, to this faction, but in my opinion, only if you're playing it wrong is there an RNG component to it. Because you, uh, you can play those cards that pull from a random pool. Ooh, we're bodying here. What's your plan here? You, you didn't even play a third attack. Oh boy. What do we do? What do I do? Uh, you know what? Let's just go down the line here. Let's go for Fuluist. So, weird interaction. Wait, hold on. Your next two slots become star points. Sure. Uh, weird interaction. If you try and turn a slot into a star point like this, and it already is one, you gain Chi instead. So this is going to try and change both of these into star points. This one will turn into a star point. Uh, for if it matters, like see, it activates this ability now when it wouldn't otherwise. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, but this one, since it already is, it's just going to turn it into um, uh, a point that gives us chi instead, which is mana, which we can use to use this ability. However... This card, you see it has a 10% chance to do an additional 5% attack. Relying on it, see right there, kind of stupid. If we uh, really want to get value out of it, we use that thing called Hexagram. Oh, we're dead here. Oh, it's so close, though. Did we go first? Whoever went first got a pretty big advantage in that fight. Because uh, we, were, we were tied for experience, so it was a coin flip. Um, but if we want... What we can do, see how this is a dice roll, and this is a dice roll, and this is a dice roll. If we put down this, which generates to hexagram, I'll summarize this because it's wild. Basically, if you have hexagram when you're going to make a die roll, you consume that hexagram and you just get the best roll. So this is going to definitely always, this is going to always do an extra five damage, nine and then five. This is going to always do 12. So that is that there. We could also make it slot that in so this always does 10, which is just strictly worse right now, kind of. Because maybe we want to have this because we think it's going to go all the way through. Because this has consumption, so it'll exhaust. So, like, it's going to go through like this, and then it's going to pretend that it's like this, and it's going to go through these four. Um... So maybe I want to guarantee that I do 10 damage on a second loop through. But I don't know if we're making it through a second loop through here. I think we're fine. Alright. Bop. So we get the one extra chi. Ow. Ow. One extra chi. Painful, painful, painful. So here's where our burst is, but it's not going to beat his burst, unfortunately for me. Yeah. It's close, though. It's close. It's close. Um, 
Going first wouldn't have mattered there. Repeat five times. 30% chance to do eight damage. So basically five hexagram means guarantee it goes five times. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna get that really late in the game. Like much, much later. For now, let's go ahead and just make sure we do something with our board. Sure. Let's upgrade some stuff before we move on. Thunderfulu. Okay. Now let's break through. This is our level up perk. Draw a side job card. Max HP up by two. Every time you add HP in battle, add two temporary max HP first. Four max HP. Or every time you win a battle, do four more destiny damage. So that's to this here. So this is our unique character level up perk. Um, I find that usually they're the best, but not always. So like that's kind of um, a fun thing about each character. They have a unique level up perk that they will always be offered. You don't have to take it, but um, usually they're pretty decent. Usually they're pretty darn decent. I find myself picking them maybe 66% of the time. Uh, but it's fun that there's other options that can show up. All right. Oh, God. So they did their burst. Time for me to return with all I really got. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. That was tight. Another thing worth knowing about this character is we have a passive called Bloodline Power. Every time we do 32 damage, like maximum HP damage. Eh. Destiny damage. Do we have any extra hexagram? No, we use up all of our hexagram. We use up all of our chi. We have nothing. So this is fine since we have nothing else. Star point make an additional five attack. Like, this would be good if we had enough chi, but I don't think so. Aye, aye, aye. All debuff reduced by two stacks. Star point opponent loses a chi. Yeah. Do I go first? Probably. So that makes it so they are going to have to waste an entire turn if I go first. I'm going to do it. I'm going to trash all my stuff to guarantee that I go first just to make it so this guy has to uh, spend a whole turn generating chi to play that card. Because he generates two chi and then he uses two chi. But if he only has uh, one... You'll see a mechanic that I don't know if we've seen very much here. So he tries to use that up. I remove his one chi. He has to spend a whole turn to generate one chi there. Kind of stunning him, almost, more or less. It's not a guarantee we're going to win because of it, but uh, it sure as hell is going to help. It, I, I think it made us win. I think it made us win. Looking at what he had and pivoting that. Uh, you have more than enough chi, so it's not going to matter. 11 attack and a chance to apply weakened. I don't know. I think I need to, f I think I need to put more chi out. So, let's see. I'm going to go first, probably. So, I want to weaken. This does 17 damage. I want to weaken that. Weaken reduces the damage they do by 40%. Ooh, I don't have enough chi. I'll keep it. Thunderfulu. This is fine. Because if I upgrade this, does this give me more chi? Yes, it does. All right, do we have enough hexagram? Four? We have four? We have one, two, three, four things that try and pull from hexagram. Okay, yes, we're good. One more and we get a level up. I'm, I'm fine with just waiting, though. It's not urgent. All right. Wait. Oh, I timed it wrong. 
No, I didn't time it wrong. They just dumped like 30 cards. What the heck? What the hell? Does this upgrade to make him lose two? No. All right, let's break through first. Uh, six post-action cards. Add an extra seven defense when using the card in the first time. So ultimate hexagram base is a kind of a fun one. It is a passive here that makes it so every single turn you gain a hexagram. So we never have to care about hexagram again. We do still kind of have to care about... We have to care about chi. Uh, opponent loses four health twice. I mean, it's not bad. Okay, three chi. Who goes first? Knowing my luck, they're going to dump five, six cards. If they don't, we've got a good thing going there. Does it matter for me to weaken? Yes, but we want to do it there. Alright. Yikes. Hexagram every single turn now. We get one every turn. Man, spending a whole turn to generate the one chi though. It, like that's just it's just trash now. Okay, weaken. Oh shoot, you moved it. Wait. No, I just am faster than I thought. Apply two internal injury, which is basically a poison. I mean, this is just better than this. Star power makes it so this will do one more damage. It is just straight up better. Uh, more damage based off how much health you have. I don't have very much. Two chi opponent loses two chi. Oh, I can't have another consumption card. Okay, this is worth it, though. This is worth it. If we remove two chi and then we go... We would have to go f first. Truthfully, these are going to go away at some point anyways. ay 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 We're about to get, like, that super thunder attack is why I'm thinking about it. Oh my god, and then we're going to remove Chi again right here before they go. If we go first, this person has three skipped turns. If we go first, they don't get a play for three turns. Okay, reduce the Chi. Okay. That's, that's huge. Wait, they gained one. Oh yeah, because they... Yeah, duh. Oh, man. If we lost this still, that'd be sad. It, I mean, it wouldn't be shocking because we, like, completely uprooted our build to just ruin this one specific guy's day. But honestly, it worked out great. Same deal! Same deal. We can ruin their life. Breakthrough. Bonus damage for every debuff they have is not currently relevant. Lose two cultivation to get 12 max HP and 12 destiny. Sure. One defense for each hexagram. I'm not going to have a lot because I actually use I use a lot of my hexagram. Uh, do we need chi? Technically, no. But we also don't really need this card in here right now. This is better. Oh, but I can't have another continuous card. 
He's going to change. Like, he has to change. He has to change it. He's going to change it? Is he going to change it? But I know that he has that too, which is going to ruin me a little bit if he gets to there. Oh, God. Who goes first? It's going to really matter. Ah! Oh, we got beefed. It matters a lot. All right. Well, he still has to waste one turn. But that really matters, because then I think he might get a go. He might get to use my chi, right? No, but... Yeah. Shoot. Oh! <laughs> God! That was tight. That was tight. That was freaking tight. Max HP, HP up. I don't hate that, but... Exhaust your hexagram, adds star power and chi for every point exhausted. Okay. Again, we rip apart this guy if we do this. I can't use another consumption card. Whenever you gain hexagram, do three damage. That's worth considering. Star point apply weakened... I'm going to say no right now. Two stacks of internal injury make that happen immediately. Internal injury is just is poison. I can't... Can I get rid of this? Not really, because this gets consumed. This gives me two chi, but it gets consumed, meaning that I won't be able to play it on the second playthrough, so I need to be generating one chi out of this. And I generate two chi out of it the second turn, which is good. So, like, because this tries to turn these into star points, and if there are any star points, we gain two chi. But, like, for turn one, we gain one. Turn two, we'll gain two. So, I have two chi. To... This is perfect. This is actually um, perfect. Which means... Which is good, but it also means I can't really play around with it, and I don't think I'll be able to really... I don't think I'll be able to do this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This is gonna this is gonna be a little bit weird. Please don't tell me. Okay. Oh, they knew. They knew. They looked. They actually looked. They adjusted accordingly. And on top of that, I like I just think we were going to have a problem anyways. Okay, good. We weakened that. 16. Oh, no. We need to live this. Let's go! I think we're on our way to top four. I'm not... This is not a good enough build for, like, flaw... Oh, boy. Return up to three Hexgram. Okay! Hexgram is triggered at Chi. I don't need that right now. Star power. Not right now. Yeah. This is starting to be something, though. Like, if we got rid of... Okay, well, we also... We don't need this right now. Hmm. That's a problem. That is a problem. Oh, God. Uh, what the hell's happening? Uh, we gain the hexagram. We have hexagram one. Hexagram two. Hexagram. Yeah, we, we, we're fine. We get it back. We do three damage for everyone we get. We get the hexagram back. We, this does nine damage. This does 18 damage. 
The question is if exhausting hexagram counts as using it. Does that count as using it? I don't feel good about this, um, this combat. Ow. Flaw is fine. It's not my favorite use of the flaw here, but at least gets used. Oh, God. Opponent loses a chi. That's irrelevant. Could have ditched that as well. So, yeah, like, this is something. It's... Uh, it, it's... That was really not bad. If we had, like, a more valuable card for this, I think we'd be better off. Opponent loses three chi. <gasps> oh my god, we can destroy their life. Okay, we can destroy their life if we do this. Okay. Three chi. Okay. It's fine. I'm not going to do an internal injury. Post action needs to go through all the way again. Three stacks of flaw is very noteworthy. Do we have enough to do this? We do, technically. Then we probably should. Uh... Opponent loses a chi. Because, yeah, this is... If you we put their chi down to zero, they have to take two whole turns. They, they are ruined. They are fundamentally ruined by this card. I'm just trying to think. So we gain one chi on the first playthrough. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're all good. We ruin their life. If they don't change their board, which... I don't think they will because I didn't have this on my board last turn. Like, that's an important thing to consider. They can't look at my board and know that I played it. So they don't they don't know to play around it because I didn't have it on my board. That's what's, like, a really nice thing about having a sideboard. That being said, they... Oh, wait, they have a... Okay, never mind. Oh, they ruined it. Wait, what? Oh yeah, that it got re it got reduced. Oh, next card's card is cost is reduced. Okay, never mind. They're totally fine. They may have a, a turn. How did they find so many of these? How did they find so many of those? I'm actually baffled. Chi up by two. Next card cost is reduced by two. What the hell? Like, I could have looked at that before, but I should have processed that. Okay, whenever you gain Chi or Hexagram, do four damage. Do you care about Chi? No, you don't. You have all those star point things, so we can get rid of this. In fact, we should maybe just reduce it entirely. One defense free Shi. I won't have very much. Okay. Two stacks of flaw off the next card. It contains Thunder Chase. I mean, we're going to gain that Thunder move. Five Thunders. All right. Oh, my. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Right? Return up to four. Apply flaw and then do this, which should do eight damage five times. 
Who am I fighting? Yeah, it's you. You don't really care about this. Let's get rid of that. I don't think I can mess with that. What is... What are you doing? What is, what is happening here? They kind of have what I have, but they don't have my character's unique ability of gaining hexagram every single turn. Oh, I should swap this. No, wait. We might need that. Do we... We'll see. We'll see. We may need to... We may be able to swap that order to technically do four more damage for what it's worth. Okay. We gain the one chi. We apply the flaw. We use up the hexagram. We use a hexagram, then we gain three. Okay, so we have five, which means we have one extra. We can totally skip. We can totally uh, change the order. This turn good. This turn interesting. We can swap that order and it's fine. As long as they don't have something that reduces my chi, which they, they don't. Internal injury. I'm just going to have to go fast here. I'm looking for star point. The opponent skips their next card. That seems fun. I need chi for that, though. Ooh. I'm going to keep these. They're going to go first no matter what. I got up to 64 cultivation from recycling. From skipping everything. Um... Yeah, I just don't have... I don't have the chi for this. Is it worth trying to throw them? They have chase. They go boom. I go boom. They go boom, boom. So I get rid of three chi which seems very relevant. And then that also nets me the ability to do this instead. Which I don't know what card I want them to skip because I don't know what any of this means. We could... Um, this kind of needs to be here. Kind of. We don't, we don't like super need this. Do we need this? We don't on turn one, but we do if we want to move through the deck again a second time. Because we get three chi. If that was four chi, and yeah, I'd be like, yeah, we're never making it through the deck more than twice. Right? But I don't know. Okay. Immediately reduce all three chi there, which is great. They have this one, but they are going to have to at least stall one time, bare minimum. And then they skip this card. Okay, so, oh, I made them skip the card that would make them stall. I'm going to just hope that it was required for their build. You take, wait, you take 40% less damage? Oh, bite me. At least that kind of counter like counteracted. <laughs> counteracted. Okay, we're going to make them skip something. Please. 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 Okay, thank God. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Obtain immediately another one? Uh, yeah. Just does more damage. Next card triggers twice. Imagine if we, like, could make them skip their turn twice. I... My opponent loses their max HP consumption. I mean, that's a good thing if they don't need Chi. I go first. I reduce their Chi immediately so that they have zero. Oh, okay. So this does counteract them 
for now if I go first. I counted them if I go first. It sure as hell looks like I should. Two internal injury. Two, like That's a lot of stuff, but it's just not relevant right now. Am I ever going to be able to slot this in again? Maybe. This is a good replacement for this on people where it's irrelevant. Is this... This is relevant... No, it's not. Um... God. There's a lot of math here, and I'm like, does this ruin everything? I mean, I'm not gonna have enough... Hexagram. I wouldn't have enough hexagram anyways. Oh, you changed everything! She changed everything! What the hell? Okay, well... What the hell is happening? I... And then she has another Dharma Spirit Sword, doesn't she? No, okay. What the hell? I'm so confused. When the Dharma Spirit Sword hits, we are dead. Oh, oh my god, I'm so glad I killed her. She just high rolled like a son of a gun there, man. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so glad she's gone right then. Ooh, another one? Wait. Oh, um, we need another chi. We need another chi for this. Alternatively, we could just like do this. It's kind of irrelevant. Do you, do you care about Chi? You do. And will you go first? You might. But probably won't. I think we're done with this. As much as, like, it is fun and it's strong. I'm gonna get rid of that. It's more or less just one Chi get rid of this, but I feel a little bit weird about it. Okay, so now we're going to be going first. Bing, bang. And we want to stop that. So that they have to... Yeah, that'll be good. This may be done. We're not even using that much um, hexagram for that to return. So we're going to be making them skip what? Oh, that's actually fine, because they're going for a debuff kill build. If we make them skip the thing that applies debuff, they're not going to be doing very much damage to me because of my amount of debuff. That just checks out. Okay, reduce their chi to zero. They have to stall a little bit. Oh, shoot. I mean, well, we can't. we don't have a lot of flexibility with where we can put that card. That's what it's super good. Okay. Come on. Two. Okay. That was a that was a that was a lucky roll. Um Ooh. Relevance? Absolutely. Who goes first? They go first. We put that here. And I think we get rid of this for now. 
We actually kind of want something that's going to um, use up our chi. Do you have anything that reduces chi? Nope. Three stacks of flaw. Because we kind of want something so that this actually returns enough, right? 10% chance to chase. Actually, that's probably better. Because it uses hexagram and then it chases. I think we're done with that. Another one? That's very lucky. I think we will keep that. We maybe keep that. This seems so good. Well... No, we don't want to put this, because we could put the strikes twice. It, it won't matter. It won't matter there. I'm going to ditch this. Looking for upgrades. Chi, hexagram. If hexagram is equal to... Th greater than or equal to three chase. Uh, That's not bad. But I'm running out of, like, chase spots. I'm running out of chase spots. Just looking for an upgrade right now. Another strike twice. Jeez, man. What's the upgrade? Does the upgrade strike twice, twice or something? It can't. It can't just be like, oh, well now it strikes thrice. Bye bye, Chi. God, this has been an MVP. This freaking Fulu. That's from my subclass. Okay. We got four. Boom. Up to. Th yeah, it's just. I mean, we gotta get lucky. We had one guarantee. Alright, I mean, we win this. And then he's dead. We're definitely... We are top four already, right? Yep. I This guy is obviously... This is the one I'm by far most scared of, though. Ugh. Okay, hold on. We need defense for check grab. I'm just looking for anything that I know I already have. So we got to move fast. What is the max upgrade? Yes. Okay. Uh, repeat it twice if hexagram is triggered. Add a cheat. <gasps> That's big. That's really big. Uh, this needs to be later, but then this needs to be... Oh, God. Ah! Uh, maybe I just don't care about this for now. Chance to chase. Okay, we this will be pretty good. Uh... No, we need this. We need this for our own chi. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Can we skip? We can also just make you skip. You have chase, though. So you'll be on this on turn two. We can make you skip this, which is not that relevant. Making you skip... I don't have that much chase. I think this is I think this is a, as good as I'm going to get it here. I may end up just trashing this. Ay ay ay. Ay 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 ay. That's such a bad spot for that, but I I did it so that I would get my own chi. And then we do this, we activate twice, we gain the double chi. But now we use this uh this to gain all that the or my hexagram gain all my hexagram back okay boom up to hexagram seven so we get guaranteed eight there boom 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 followed by another guaranteed four boom 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 that's a win we're at least second please let me see that he lost health he did not that is concerning 
This is cool, but like... Okay. Um, we only need two chi. So the question is, where are you going to put it? Oh, this is such a mind game. My build inherently looks more uh, placement required. Okay, so they do this twice. Does that work? They skip the next two cards? Oh god, this is such high stakes here. Such high stakes. Are they going to move it? Are they going to move it? Who goes first? I go first. I'm willing to I'm willing to ruin my build a little bit to gamble. I think they'll move it. Plus, if I'm going... If they move it... Well, no. If they move it, then they will want to move it. Oh, God. The math on this. I go first. So, if it was here, boom. They go boom. They would love that. They wouldn't want to change it. They wouldn't want to change it. And I shouldn't want to change my build if I'm going for optimal damage. But I'm going to change my build because I think that they are going to... Keep their thing where it needs to be. Basically, I hope they... I hope to see it again. Oh... Incredible! Incredible! Giga brain! Giga brain! I don't know that I'm gonna be able to make it. I, this is a this is now a race to uh, the card skip. Oh, 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 oh my friend, my friend! So clearly they know that this was the problem. So surely I won't move it back again, right? Surely not. Oh my god. This is wild. Like, I could do the same thing as them with the skippy skippy. Like, I don't need that much chi, but I can I can hamstring their entire build so hard. They have the chase. That's the thing that makes this... Them having the chase makes things extra complicated. I mean, which means I could make it complicated too, but... I can't chase into a chase... Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. This is a lot. Like I could go technically I could do this and it'd be like fine. There's so much on the line here. I I have faith that they moved it. I have faith that they moved it. They changed their entire strat. Okay. That sucks. Okay, they they changed their whole build. Okay. This is not that bad. I think that I I think that I win anyways. Yeah, I win. The weaken is frustrating, but I think I'm fine. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> The Giga Brain Fulu, dude. Oh, that's three for three on the series. That sets an unrealistic expectation. I'm not going to win every day. <laughs> I'm not going to win every day. I'm setting up realistic expectations right now. Oh, mama. That was a really fun match. That was a really, really fun match. Loved it. Alas, alas. 
that is that. It's going to do it here for today for Yi Xian. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. Spread the love. Share this video around. Try and get the uh, the good word of Yi Xian out there. Uh, you know, it had, uh, you know, a, a, a couple, you know, rocky things right away that had some people drag its name through the mud. But those things are just, there's literally no negative elements that I can think of with this game right now. It's just so, so pleasing. I really enjoy it. Uh, again, to make it clear, there is no pay to win elements in this game is, is what I'm kind of referring to. I just don't want to talk about it every single day, but I kind of need to like make it clear because people seem to think that it's still true or is true, but it was like a day one issue that the game had that got fixed immediately. It got hot fixed. And it's kind of stuck with the game, like with a like a permanent mark against the game all the way up until now, which it's just not true. It's just not a factual thing about the game at this point. So it really is so, so nice. Like, I really, I love it. I love it. Check it out with the link in the top description if you are interested in picking it up. Uh, I like it so much. If, if for nothing else, you know, leave a comment. Let me know you want to see more of this. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.